Catholic High School's Acuity Fieldhouse getting ready to uh, start action in the second of uh, tonight's game. Uh, boys going to be playing this time. North comes in 4-1, ranked 7th in the state. They uh, lost their last game to Napier in a very exciting triple overtime game that uh, Chris and I had the pleasure of calling. Uh, South comes in 2-4, uh, but their last game was uh, a game against Green Bay East here in town. They won by 10 points and uh, played a good second half, not so stellar in the first half, but uh, they seem to be coming on a little bit, Chris. They certainly had a slow start, the Southsiders did, to their season. Yes, they did, and uh, very much unlike uh, Coach Schultz over the year, whose team seemed to always be competing this year. We, we're looking. We're looking for people to step up. Obviously, Taylor Ditter for Sheboygan South, senior, uh, three years on the varsity. Uh, Michael Schrader and Thomas Murray, three seniors, all in double figures. They're going to have to, you know, pick up the slack tonight. There's no doubt about it. And then after that, there's a lot of guys on the south side that, you know, we don't know much about. And uh, we're going to have to see what they can do to contribute. Uh, for Sheboygan North, they, they played probably their best game of the season in a loss. And uh, I was very impressed with their defense. And I'm going to be interested to see how Coach Schultz is going to counter the uh, pressure D by the uh, team in white. One of the things we're used to seeing from uh, Sheboygan South and Tim Schultz is the fact that he plays a lot of guys and uh, that could play into a successful evening. Uh, they're probably, and we don't know because we haven't seen them, but probably a little deeper than North. Well, they, they always seem to play lots of guys and uh, the problem with their, their, their younger guys is just the experience and uh, we'll just have to see how they uh, react to this first North-South game. I know both squads as I was waiting for uh, Lauren and Lizzie to come out, they were both really pumped up, ready to get on the floor and uh, showcase it. And uh, it is a big treat to play in these games. It certainly is. We're going to step out for a minute. When we come back, they'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's ball game. Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public, educational, and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Schrader. A 5'11 senior, number 15, Taylor Ditter. A 6'3 senior, number 31, Thomas Murray. A 6'1 freshman, number 41, Connor Harrison. And a 6'4 senior, number 51, Michael Schrader. Here's your starting lineup for the Sheboygan North High Running Raiders. At guard, a 6'2 junior, Ethan Gusky. At guard, a 6'3 senior, Devin Yerk. At guard, a 6'1 senior, Luke Belmore. At forward, a 6'4 senior, Shaquille Francis. And at forward, a 6'1 senior, Bree Conter. Officials for tonight's game are Mark tonight's Jandrin and Dan Yadidinsky. Uh, those two gentlemen are from Green Bay. Uh, Chris and I are look forward to uh, bringing you this ball game. In earlier action uh, today, the North JVs came back big to uh, defeat South. And then on Thursday, the uh, freshman teams, uh, both schools have two boys freshman teams, uh, North and South split. Came back to the officials, Marty. These are two good ones. They've done a lot of big, big games. Uh, they won't be intimidated about the house tonight. Wish the house was a little bit more full, though, Marty. Ever. You know, there's lots of seats still available. and Yeah, lots on the uh, ends. And you even look down below. I mean, there's big gaps. It never used to be that way. It's kind of too bad. Well, they couldn't seat 3,000 people either. <laughs> that makes a difference. North controls. 
York at the controls right now. North likes to drive it inside. Yep, drive and dump. And here's one of the best in the state, number 11, Devin York. York being guarded by Ditter. He goes to the rack, off the glass, no good. Francis on the tap, no good. Pulling down the rebound was uh, Michael Schrader. Ditter going hard to the basket. He can't get it to go. Good pressure defense by Belmore. North on a semi bust out. Gusky being guarded by Matt Schrader. Schrader's going to stay tight with him. That's the game. If Matt Schrader plays that tight against Gusky, that's going to open up some driving lanes. Yeah, and. Uh that's the North game. Drive to the basket. Matt Schrader picking up that foul. No score. Rolling down to a minute in. Gusky. Bango. Well, the other night he almost hit a game winner. Came within an inch of falling in to win that game at the buzzer. But this one he didn't miss. Oh, deep pass goes into the backcourt. And uh, North will get it on the south turnover. No, that was Gusky who made that. They didn't even mark it up. There's no points on the board yet, but that was yeah. Gusky. No, Gusky made the three here, but I think that three-point attempt at the end of the game oh, on I'm Tuesday was No, Zierk. I mean, uh, Gusky one that was out here that he just missed, it rolled out and yeah. fell back in. That was Gusky. Gusky again, he's hot. And North up to a quick 6 nothing lead. Shot from the top of the key, rolls off. Gusky with a rebound. Connor Harrison had a good look. Harrison just a freshman. Skip pass to Conter. Passes up the three attempt. Drives it in. Kicks it out to Belmore. His shot was in and then out. And a good strong rebound by Michael Schrader. South down six to nothing on the strength of uh, Gusky's two three point baskets. Francis gets away with a push. Oh man. Right in front of us, right in front of the official, and no call. And right in front of Coach Schultz, who saw it as well. Yeah, he says, I want that call next time. And he's time. saying, we'll see later on. That wasn't even close. Well, South also has played the pier, but they just got buried. So uh, both got the pier at home already, and uh, the North and South has lost both of those games. The pier is a very good squad. Steele, Francis, had it tipped away. Belmore going to the loop. Layup rolls off, but uh, cleaning up the mess was Shaq Francis, eight to nothing north. He's always around the glass. Ditter being guarded by Belmore. That's gonna be a good matchup too, Chris. Ditter probably the stronger of the two. Ditter with two. Taylor Diller, an outstanding out athlete at South. Three sport athlete. Baseball is probably his best, and now he gets a pick. And he lays it up and in. It's eight to four. He'll be playing baseball, I believe, at Oshkosh next year. Good pass by uh, Yurik into uh, Belmore, who's fouled. Thomas Murray. Now this is a, was a pain in the side of North the other night. They uh, had a whale of a time trying to make their free throws. And uh, in essence, it cost them the game, Chris. And we talked about Shaquille Francis. I mean, he's got to get better. And he's not. He's, he's just stiff as a board. Yep, he's uh, got real bad uh, fluidity. There's a name, word for you, huh? on his shot. You say him, I'll just try to figure him out. <laughs> it's kind of like Yogi Berra, huh? <laughs> Did I really say what I said? That's a good word, though. Belmore guarding Ditter. Francis trying to get the steal, but uh, hit the arm, and uh, Coach Desatel not happy with that effort. No, nope, he's going to bring in... Uh... Alec Menning. Menning started earlier in the season. 
senior. Mitchell Fox tossing in. North in a man-to-man -man defense. Kick out. Wide open look is good by Connor Harrison. The freshman. Eight to seven. North only by one. Conter. Bango. Hey, I saw Reed Conter last night eating some perch. 11 to seven. Talked to him for a while last night. He's going to go to Viterbo next year. That's over in lacrosse. Yep. The Redbirds. Yep. And turnover south. Checking in is uh, Jake Knuth, number 35. Coming out is uh, Michael Schrader. Under four minutes left in the first quarter. North up four. A good defense. By Kick Murray. Out. Bango. Conter. He's got a three-pointer again. North. Four of five from three-point range already. Gusky not able to make the pick. Speaking of good athletes, there's one, Thomas Murray. Yeah, he's a leaper. Taylor Ditter's three-point attempt is no good. Long pass to Belmore is over his head. Looked a little like Jay Cutler. <laughs> Caleb Haney. A lot of substituting. Yep, Danny Campion in for Devin. Hammeister coming in, number 35. Murray has it being guarded by uh, Reed Conter. A good defense by uh, Gusky. And Gusky looked like he tipped it off, but they're calling it off a of Mitchell <laughs> Fox, and North will get it. Well, he sold it. He did, the... definitely. Good call on that one, Chris. You're right. Champion at the controls, Yurik on the bench, taking a breather. Gusky taking it hard to the basket. Tried to get it off, couldn't. And they're gonna call Gusky being on the line when the ball touched him? Didn't look like it from here. But we're only uh, 75 feet away. I don't know what that was, Marty. <laughs> I don't know what kind of call that was. Bringing it up is uh, Michael Schrader and gives it off to Ditter again, being guarded by Campion. Both teams playing a man-to-man -man defense. Shot attempt is no good. Hammeister couldn't get it, but then we're going to get a foul on Salt. I believe that's going to be on Matt Schrader on a hold. And that's his second. A lot of Schraders. But uh, Matt and Robbie are the two that are the twins. Gusky checking out. Shaq Francis coming back in. Along with Manning. Conter coming out. So the two uh, three-point shooters, Chris, are on the bench right now. Let's see what North does to muster some offense. They're up by seven. Hammeister, couldn't get it. Connor Harrison got that rebound and he's bringing it up against Yerk. Little mix up on the defense. North able to recover. Oh, good move inside and putting it up and in was Jake Newth. Jake Knuth, another young man that got injured during the football season. Nice to see him back on the floor competing. Yurik going to get called on a charge. Good help defense by uh, Jake Knuth. 
Another slow start for Devin Yerk. Horrible start again on Tuesday, but he really got hot in that second half to help the Raiders. But again, early turnovers for him. And just one point. Robbie Schrader in the game, Chris and Thomas Murray back in. And uh, for North, Hammeister comes out and Belmore comes back in. A lot of substitutes. Well, let him spin to the outside and taking it to the hoop and laying it up, but not in was uh, Robbie Schrader. Corsair brother, excuse me, their uncle is Billy Schrader, who uh, was a pretty good athlete. <laughs> he was decent. <laughs> Great athlete, was a track athlete lacrosse and worked that into ending up playing football lacrosse and then... Uh, Played in the NFL. And, Actually, uh, if he wouldn't have, made it, wouldn't have made it uh, in football, he was uh, up for uh, trying for the Olympics in yep. uh, decathlon, yep. I believe it was. And also, if you ever get to watch him, he, he hits a golf ball about a mile. He's been in those long uh, drive competitions that are uh, on ESPN every once in a while. 14 to 11, North on top. It's been a while since they've scored any points. Still a minute 24 left in the first. Billy is still nice, nice guy. Always talked to us when he came to town. Inside to Francis, he couldn't get it in. Yerk to the hoop, couldn't get it in either, and he gets fouled. A couple of nice looking shots for North, and they couldn't finish. Devin Yerk will have a chance to uh, up the lead, and he does score his first point. I think it took him a little longer on Tuesday. Yes. Good form on those two free throws at 16 to 11. Ditter on a nice bounce pass, oh, but that overlay that time by Knuth. Gusky got it. North right back at him. Knuth's got to finish that. Knuth has got to make that. Not only don't you make the basket on a layup, you then end up giving up a basket. That's a four-point swing. So instead of you know, basically just being down uh, five, you get it right up to seven. Excuse me, four it would have been. Right. It's 18 to 11 right now. Under a minute left in the first quarter. Did her on, on the wing. Good help defense there by Gusky. A back cut, Gusky with some good help, and North steals it. Shaq traveled. Conter, no good. Yurk got the tap and put it up and in. 20 to 11, 19 seconds left. Oh, they didn't get in front of him. Ditter right down Main Street, scores it. 2013, but pace favors North. Under 10 seconds. Dusky not able to handle the pass. Got a bad shot off just before the buzzer, and we're at the end of one, north on top, 20 to 13. When I was younger, I didn't want to admit I had a serious disease. Because of my diabetes, I lost the sight in my left eye. Misconceptions continue to surround this monster public health issue, but the simple truth is, diabetes can often be prevented and complications avoided. You're not alone. Understand the realities of diabetes and know that you can manage it and lead a full, active life. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, there you see North on top, 20 to 13. Uh, they jumped out to an 8 nothing lead uh, on the strength of two Ethan Gusky three-pointers, and then uh, South made a nice comeback on a 7-2 run, and... Uh, Pulled it within seven to eight, or pardon me, eight to seven north, and uh, we stand right now at 20 to 13, and uh, nice shot off the rim by Thomas Murray. South now six of 11 from the floor. Contra gets in there deep. 
Nice strong rebound by Michael Schrader and he pulls it out and South has numbers. Oh, good block by Gusky. Good hang time blocking Matt Schrader's shot. Out to Francis. He's smiling as he shoots. <laughs> Nails it. Five of nine from three point range for the Raiders. It's now an eight point lead, 23 to 15. Belmore with pretty good defense stopping Ditter. He got a little bit of help from uh, Conter. Uh, Murray inside. That's but uh, good defense again. Good help by the Raiders. Four turnover on South. Francis wanted it. Conter will take it though. Reed Conter no good. Francis uncontested just went right to the basket for that first tip. South needs to check him. Who's ever guarding Francis has got to check him on the uh, shot attempts to keep him off the board. That's four offensive rebounds for him, Marty. You're all over that. For once. <laughs> 6.36 remaining in the second quarter. North up 8, 23 to 15. Ditter has it being guarded by Luke Belmore. All trying to get something set up on the offensive end. Murray had it stripped away from him. I actually thought he traveled before he put the ball down. He faked to the middle and then went to the outside as uh, Gusky came by and he tipped it out of bounds. Nobody guarding the inbounder. Good ups by Gusky, but coming down with it was Matt Michael Schrader. Matt you, Schrader is fouled. Yeah, I was going to say, go ahead with the foul. Who got it here? Shaquille Francis picks up the foul, Chris, and that's going to be his second. And at the 6.02 mark, that'll be the end of Francis for the quarter slash half. Just going to say on that inbound, see how difficult it was for South to get in? I mean, that is... Scouting, scouting, and scouting, and uh, you know you mentioned not covering the uh, the inbounder. And I think South what they were in was a, I think they were in a zone though. You know, after I said it, I kind of looked. It looked like they were in a two-three zone, and they just left them wide open. Somebody may have slid out, uh, you know, after the inbound play. Right. But Man, you're very right. Uh, difficult for South to get anything involved. Uh, in uh, whoops! Yerk! <laughs> Telegraph that pass. At South for excuse me, North for turnover as well. 5.45 left, half. Ball goes off a North player, South will bring it in. Chucking it in will be Matt Schrader, number three. Twenty-three to sixteen, North on top. Kind of pass fa fast paced ball game. Yes, very well played. Whoops, sorry Good. about that, guys. Well, Gusky lays it up and in. Nice steal by uh, Yurk to set that all up. Something's on the floor. Somebody's on the floor. I didn't see what happened down here, Mark. Yeah, me either. 25 to 16, as we call that timeout. That's uh, Yurik. You know what happened, Chris? He was off balance as he threw that ball in, and I'm sure he landed hard on the floor. I don't think there was anything uh, despicable happening. It's just a great effort, and uh, he hurt himself. Well, and he's been hurt basically all season. He didn't play the first couple games. And uh, no timeout, just an injury timeout. And Devin there was no timeout? Up. Well, they injury timeout. All right, okay. No, neither team's called a timeout. Correct. And uh, they're going to He's out. Reload. Champions in. Yeah, reload his brace or whatever. Getting it was Matt Schrader. And Thomas Murray brings it up. And there's a kick by Belmore. And then just for good measure, he tried to kick it again.
North up 9, 25, 16. Ditter, rainbow shot, rims out, tap up no good. Conter with the board. I remember Taylor as a sophomore banging in those shots. Gusky had it tipped away, good defense by South. Coming away with it was uh, Connor Harrison. Matt Schrader, bango. Second three pointer, excuse me, third three pointer for them. Danny Campion does the little pose after he made his. 28 to 19. Ditter dishes it off. Nice pass. Putting it up and in was Jake Knuth. Back and forth action. Campion wanted to shoot it and couldn't get it and uh, tried to be a little too quick. Manning. Being hounded over there by Knuth. He's wide open. Shot is no good. North comes away with the long rebound. We're under four minutes left until halftime, Chris. It's 28-21, North. Gusky from way outside the line. His shot is off. Thomas Murray with the board. Oh, there's a big time carry. No. <laughs> well... Carry wasn't going to be called because it was a timeout. Timeout south with 3.38 remaining until halftime. The uh, Golden Raiders lead it 28-21. These days, carrying a mortgage can overwhelm even the strongest person. But there is a way to help ease your burden, especially if you're facing foreclosure. One option may be advice from a certified foreclosure prevention specialist. It's absolutely free. Learn more about the alternatives to foreclosure. Log on to www.makinghomeaffordable.gov because foreclosure is not a foregone conclusion. Hey, we're back at uh, North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse just talking about uh, the flow of the game and the number of three-pointers. South had mentioned that South had three. Well, he was wrong again. They only have two. Yep. But he was right with North. They did have how many? Six. Six, you're right. And only, we are also mentioning four fouls on each team too. So a very clean game and uh, letting the kids play. And it had flowed very well. I mean, yeah, there's not it, a lot of turnovers either. I got four on uh, North and I got uh, five on South. I like that idea about the flow of the game because there was very little flow to oh. the first game. Yep. And uh, a lot of flow to this basketball game. Now they're working on Devin Yerk over there. But I'm sure he will be back. Uh, uh, that uh, could have gone either way, actually, but they're going to call it on Conter. Schrader was doing a little bit of shoving over there of his own, but uh, they're going to get Reed Conter. And for him, that's his first fifth team foul on uh, North. Michael Schrader has it on the wing, gives it up to Ditter. Think he wants to post on Campion? <laughs> really? Oh, Taylor. Gusky with the board. Yeah, Taylor had a good look. Gusky rolls it in in the middle of the lane. Shooters roll that time, Chris. He's five of nine from the floor. Matt Schrader on the crossover dribble got around Menning, but uh, he couldn't finish. And North has it back with a nine point lead. 30 to 21. Gusky right away. He's feeling it, couldn't get that one in. Schrader's fourth rebound. Ethan struggled a little bit to start the game the other night, but then hit all those big threes late. But he's off tonight going. Scoring, Ethan that is. Kick out pass to Matt Schrader. He nails another three. He was wide open. That's his second from out there. And he's two for two for out there. Oh my, easy for Chetty. Oh. And he missed it. Gets the put back and he gets fouled. You're not going to get an easier opportunity than what he just had there, Alec Menny. 
So far in the ball game, North has made two out of four free throws. Yurk made two after uh, Shaq Francis had missed two. And no arch on that shot by Alec. Line drive. Yep. South is three of four from the free throw line. Hey, there's Brady Callahan down there right next to Riley Tudis. Yep, yep, I saw him come up. Saw him come in the house, or at least in the bleachers. And a little more arch, but same result. It's 30 to 24, rolling down to the two minute mark. North on top, they've led the entire half. Contra applying a heavy pressure there. Yep, Michael Schrader, the recipient of that. Ditter, Ditter's got an opening down the middle. Not good defense oh by boy. North, but again he missed it. And uh, Thomas Murray with the putback got it in. There's the athleticism, Chris, right there. Hammeister, not bashful about taking that three. Menning, good effort by Alec. Gusky down the lane, and he got it up and in, and he's fouled. What a half for Ethan Gusky, the junior. He's only a junior? They redshirt him one year. <laughs> Played him as a freshman on the varsity. Alec Menning comes out, but wow, he made an impact out there as well. Husky finishes the three-point play, and that makes it 33-26. North on top. 120. 120 in the half. Murray being guarded by Conter. Jumps over Conter for the shot. No good. Rebound put back is good by Jake Knuth. And he's had a nice half, Chris, off the bench. Well, second effort tonight. A lot of second chances of late for South. Conter got it in. He's averaging eight points a game. He's at eight points already. Under a minute. Good behind the back dribble by Ditter, and then he slows it up. Good decision there by Taylor. Mitchell Fox being guarded by Hameister. Danny Campion trying to stay with Ditter. Doing a pretty good job of it. 30 seconds remaining. Kick out pass to Murray who kicks it out to Ditter. He's being guarded closely, couldn't get it. Actually threw a pretty much of a brick that time. Campion open, no good. Knuth with the rebound. 13 seconds remaining. Michael Schrader has it. Five seconds. A good help defense and Gusky. Looks up at the clock as he went down the court and he got it up and in. Good presence of mind by uh, Ethan Gusky and North finishes the half leading 37-28. Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels.
North High Varsity Dance Team, now welcome to the floor, the North High Drumline.
North High Drum Line. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, we're getting ready to uh, wrap up halftime. Sheboygan North leads 37-28, some halftime scoring first for the Southsiders. Matt Schrader leads them with seven points, followed by Jake Knuth off the bench, who had six. Thomas Murray, four. Robbie Schrader, two. Connor Harrison, three. And Taylor Ditter had six. Four on North, Ethan, Ethan Gusky had easily his finest first half of the season. He had 17 points. Reed Conter following him with eight. Shaq Francis played uh, most of the first quarter, but only parts of the second quarter as he had two fouls. But he finished with five. Devin Yerk four, and Dan Campion hit a three-pointer. Chris, your uh, take on the first half. Really good first half of basketball. I know South probably doesn't like the score, but what flow, not too many fouls, not too many turnovers. Uh, as it turned out, North was 14 of 33 from the floor, but they hit six three-pointers. Uh, South, on the other hand, 10 of 23, just three of seven from three-point range. And you're right, Ethan Gusky just went off there, and that was a huge hoop at the end of the first half. I saw what you saw when he saw the clock. and Head know, time. Instead of just pulling up and shooting it, uh, you know, knew he could get down the floor and finish the dead layup, and instead of, you know, just being a seven, a nine-point lead and with the basketball, and I see number 11 on the floor uh, is big for North. Free throw shooting, North was three for seven, South three for four. Gusky rimmed out, Francis had it, lost it, but uh, Conter got it, and I believe he uh, stepped on the line. No, they're going to call uh, injury timeout. Down on his knees was Michael Schrader. He got clocked pretty good. Checking out his lip. Because uh, they took Tom, a timeout, does he have to come out of the game? Well, I don't I know. I think they, that's what Coach Justatello is asking. I think he's asking why you stop and play when my guy's got a shot at the basket. Yep. Which uh, he's got a case. Right. But Conter taking it to the hoop. Goal rises over the crowd, but couldn't get it in, and Murray had the rebound. Reed being very active offensively tonight. Yeah, going to the hoop a little bit more than we're used to. Yeah, he's uh, three of seven so far. Michael Schrader nails a two. That's his first basket. He was averaging 11 a game. It's just his second shot attempt. It's been all over the rebounding, but not contributing on offense. Belmore had it stripped away by uh, Michael Schrader. Turnover number five for North. Big trims up here. Yeah. Principal at South. That's right. Yeah, the big guy. Whoa. Connor Harrison cut to the basket. Uh, Thomas Murray thought he was going to stay out on the wing, and consequently the ball went out of bounds. See Mr. Sheehan's here tonight as well. Who's he? Oh, the superintendent. <laughs> shot by Belmore, no good. Francis, no shot. He got pushed on the rebound. Just kidding, Joel. Dave Glennetti, too, of the uh, school board president here as well. It's nice to see all administration here and support uh, all these youth. Gusky coming off the double screen was wide open and he nailed it. He's got 20, 40 to 30, north on top. Fade away, no good. Belmore with a nice strong rebound, kicks it down to Gusky. He lays it up and in. They lost track of Gusky and he released on the shot and was wide open. And coach saying to Belmore, nice rebound and pass. 
Full time out by the south side. Uh, to make it an understatement, uh, good time out for uh, South there, Marty. <laughs> yeah, they needed that. Uh, North's biggest lead now is 42 to 30. They're up 12, and uh, nice start to the uh, third quarter for them. Well, Gusky's just continuing to be hot. He's 9 of 15 from the floor, 3 of 6 from three-point range. You look up on the board, and Devin Yerk, your leading scorer at 17 points a game, just has four. Uh, Imagine what would happen if he started to get hot. Yeah, that's just starting to go. One, Ethan Gusky now with 22 points. Pretty soon, uh, at his pace, he may uh, pass up south himself. <laughs> You're right. That would be sad. Well, this We're going to be off for uh, the next uh, couple of weeks, actually. We won't come back until January 3rd when Preble invades south. We'll be down on the south side for that game. First day back to school, Marty. Yeah. A quick release on the jump shot by Fox and Gusky again on the release. Puts in the reverse layup and uh, North is just running the court now. Yeah, South's got to have somebody to trail. Normally you always have some guy that's not supposed to be hitting the board, has to retreat. Well, right now they have nobody doing that. Blocked by Shaq, but uh, Schrader comes up with it and puts it in. I'll tell you, on that last rebound by Francis, he was up above the rim, Chris, and I'm not exaggerating. He really got up there. Nice inside feed. And then uh, we get a whistle and a foul on South. Foul's going to go on Ditter. You mentioned Shaq Francis. That was his sixth rebound, but five of them have been on the offensive glass. Yeah, he's uh, he's been a force out there tonight, just like he was against DePier. you got to account for that guy. Contra had a good look, but didn't fire it up there. Campion has it out on top. There's a 5.30 left in the third, north up by 12. Campion slithering through, gets it over to Shaq, who then pulls it out. In the tall timbers, Danny was. Conter couldn't get it to go. Belmore tipped it out of bounds. South will get it. Francis and Schrader both hit the deck, battling for position. Boy, we haven't heard Taylor Ditter with a basket for a while. No, he's been uh, pretty silent. Finished the half with six points. Belmore had it taken away by uh, Michael Schrader, and Campion went for the fake and falls Matt Schrader. Those guys have been battling each other since youth basketball, Schrader and Campion. Gusky back in the game. Mitchell Fox taking a seat. Ditter gliding through the lane again, couldn't get it in. And uh, Yerk with a strong rebound. Gusky left open. Break for South, he didn't make a basket. Murray pull up 12 footer, bango. Murray looks sweet on that one. Two or three from the floor. Whoa, ball was tipped out of bounds. Joe Hammeister coming in. Coach not happy with that effort. Shaq got a nice pass, couldn't get it in, and then he's fouled. Should have made the first shot. So now he's got to go to the line where he's not too good. Murray with the second foul at the 418 mark, quarter number three. 11 point lead, 45 34. And a free throw made by Shaq. One for three in the game. And he did it with stiff knees. Watch his knees again. Straight, shoot. Oh, bango, baby. 46, 34. 
Salt's trying to hang in there. Coast to coast. Murray, a teardrop. Boy, was he a receiver this fall. Oh, he was awesome. Very athletic. Throw it up there and let him catch it. Yurik forcing it. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound to Connor Harrison. Yurik just one of four from the floor tonight. Well, there was a case. He should have kicked it out to the corner. I think it was Gusky was out there and uh, would have had a pretty good look. But uh, in uh, Devin's defense, he does that a lot, you know, and does score and make three-point plays the hard way. So, you yeah, don't want to criticize him too much. Well, you would. <laughs> Just kidding, Chris. <laughs> Hammeister had his shot blocked and out of bounds. Steve Irish on the floor over there thought he was going to get some face time. Game is just moving along. Ditter applying severe pressure on Hammeister. Devin Yurick wide open from three point land and he nails a three. 49 36. Uh oh. Warning, possibly. Yurik now with seven points. <laughs> he's just sitting with, with four and all of a sudden he's got seven. Three pointers are pretty nice that way. Deep pass, Gusky on the pass defense. But uh, Ditter got the ball. Nice inside feed to Matt Schrader who lays it up and in. Very nice. That was pretty nice, you're right. Three of seven from the floor for Matt Schrader. Yurk again. He's got it. Can get to 17 on your average quickly doing that. 52-38. 14 point lead again. This is uh, the equal the largest lead. Ditter taking it to the middle. Gusky went up to block the shot, but Ditter put it up and in. It was a very nice move. He had missed his last five shots. Taylor's got to get on track. Hammeister, unexpected source for a three-pointer there. Another country heard up from. And a steal. Well, Harrison tried to bounce it off of uh, Yurt, but uh, the senior Wise to that little maneuver there, Connor. It's 55 to 40 north on top. And they had the ball back on a steal, but uh, Yurk not able to handle it. Gives it up. We're under two minutes left in the quarter. And uh, Taylor Ditter just looks like he gets awfully close to carrying the ball. Charges into Gusky, and he gets called for it. For Taylor Ditter, that's his second fall. Fourth team fall on South. North only has one team fall this half, Chris. And we're uh, under two minutes. That's uh, pretty good for them. Well, we have good officials tonight, Marty. They know how to call the game. Wow. Belmore's shot was blocked. Murray has it on the bust out. Matt Schrader stepped on the line coming around on the handoff and uh, stepped out. It's a Norse ball. They're up by 15. Fourth turnover of the quarter. Nine in the game now. Too many for South when they're trailing by 15. Conter left open. He nails a three. Make it 18. It's raining threes here at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. 58 to 40. Michael Schrader no good. South with an offensive rebound. Ditter fouled. Ditter. 
Devin Yurick committing to foul. And the uh, north side crowd is excited as Tex is coming in the game. Big number 51, Brandon Sipple. There you hear him. Sip, 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 sipple. With that made free throw, Taylor Ditter now has nine points. Brandon Sippel, a uh, second team all conference football player, number 51. He liked to hit people. Oh, yeah. Looks very smooth at the free throw line, too. 58 42. Deep pass to Gusky. Cross court pass to Campion. He couldn't get it. Rebound shot is no good. And South catches a bit of a break. And a push off by Schrader, not called. That get was, out of my way, Gusky. That was just. Danny not strong going to the basket there. He's just got to go and put that up there, and if you get fouled, you get fouled. He was too worried about the defense there. It should have been an easy basket. Michael Schrader shot no good. South comes away with the long rebound. Mitchell Fox on that rebound. Sippel trying to guard Schrader, and he's going to get called for the foul. Come on. <laughs> hey, he's officially in the book now. He should be happy. And we got a little circle by his name. And he's out. <laughs> Come on. Well, actually, that, I was just teasing. That was a, definitely a foul, but uh, I am not uh, teasing that. He should be coming out of the game. No. Hard enough to get in the game. 58-42. <laughs> 28 seconds remaining in the third. North... Uh, I think they're in a zone, but now they've transferred over into a man-to-man -to, -man to finish out the quarter. We're under 20 seconds left. Murray, three. No, not even close. Off and then Yerk's it goes foot. off of Yurk's foot, but they're going to give it to North. Oh, no. And neither official saw it. Uh, we saw it. Yeah. Eric, do you see that? He didn't see anything. He's just pointing the camera. Eric Wiesman running camera, assisted by Richard Bartson. Chris Wright, the color man. Mike Martin, the play-by-play. -play. Belmore tips it and fouled at the shot. Fouled on the shot at the buzzer is Ethan Gusky. He'll shoot two. Uh, Gusky shoot his free throws. He was fouled at the buzzer. That was point number 25 for Ethan. And 26, and it's 60 to 42, Chris. 18 point lead. When Americans volunteer to serve their country, their country promises to take care of them when they come home. For a paralyzed veteran, day-to-day -day living is a major challenge. Paralyzed Veterans of America works to make sure our veterans get all the benefits they were promised from the country they proudly served. A spinal cord injury is an injury for life. And at Paralyzed Veterans, we are their partners for life. Thank you for helping us help America's veterans. Thank you. Getting ready to start fourth quarter action. North on top, 60 to 42. Ethan Gusky having a great night tonight. He's got 26, and he's uh, been hitting shots from all over, not just three-pointers. Well, North in general just starting to light it up there. 11 of 23 from out there, Marty. 21 of 53 in the game, but 11 threes so far for North. Just three threes for South. They didn't make one in the third quarter, where North made five. Connor Harrison almost threw it away, but uh, the long arms of uh, Michael Schrader saved that pass. North coming in, averaging 74 points a game, and they're going to get there again tonight. Giving up 61. South just getting 52 a, a game, and they're going to probably get over that tonight. 
Matt Schrader was able to get free in the lane for a shot, but couldn't get it to go down. And then uh, Shaq Francis doing the best he could to tip it out of bounds so South wouldn't get an offensive rebound. Yeah, South 16 of 40 now from the floor. 16 of 41 make it. Boy, Ditter was wide open from the corner. Chris and barely glanced the rim. Yeah, he's four of 12 shooting. Chetty wanted it. And coach didn't. Yerk did. He's been hot. Another three-pointer three for him. Three for three. Shooting threes. Three of his last four. Matt Fox off. South battling. Got the offensive board. Matt Schrader again. He got it that time. Manning with a basket on a quick route down the floor. Another steal. Ethan with a <laughs> live drive. <laughs> Catch that, Manning. <laughs> They're going to call Fox on the foul. Murray on the foul. And I don't know, it looked like Ethan was a little bit out of control there. Yeah, I agree with you there, but, and but he did spot agree. the open man. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, can't you catch a hard pass? Manning, come on, you're an end in football. Twenty point lead for the Golden Raiders. Conter loads it up. Ditter with the long rebound. Taking it to the hoop. Oh, nice layup. Just his second basket of the half, though, Marty. 65-47. Conter. South coming away with a lot of rebounds here. It's one and done this quarter so far for North. Boy, and that's the first we've seen Knuth, and he had such a Good great first half. First yeah. half. I don't remember seeing him before. Matt Schrader forcing it to the hoop but couldn't get a shot in. Yurik got another three. Wow. He's four, been on fire. Four threes in the quarter for four attempts. Just about to his average. He was one of two shooting totally in the first half. Now he's got 16, Chris. Oh, and he call it ticky-tack. His third. His third foul. Gusky coming in. Also coming in for South is Michael Schrader. Schrader has nine rebounds in the ball game, but. Michael Schrader, rainbow is no good. But he's struggling from the floor as about to see Marty. Yeah. Which is four points off his fourth. Third, excuse me, 11 Eric point loading average. it up again, rims out. Matt Schrader with the board. Menning has him. That's a tough matchup for Alec. And Schrader takes it right to the basket and scores, and he's fouled. Francis with his third foul. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but uh, this is so much more enjoyable than the way the girls game uh, panned out, you know, with all the fouling and uh, poor ball handling. This has uh, had a lot more flow, like you had mentioned in the first half. Belmore. Gusky from way outside, couldn't get it. Campion and uh, Connor Harrison fighting for it, and it's a tie up. North has the possession arrow. 438 remaining in the ball game. North up 68-49. And uh, they've uh, had the lead the entire ball game, Chris. Started off with an eight-point run starting the ball game. Gusky is hammered. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Very similar to the start of the game, Marty. Ethan Gusky was banging threes, so all of a sudden you got to come out on him. 
Then he takes it to the glass and he finished with a lot of two point baskets. Here, the same thing. Started the second half, he hit a three. Started going to the basket again and uh, showing he's just not a three point shooter. He can get to the basket as well. He's four for four from the line too. I think when North plays, they should change the rules where he can have Gusky shoot all the free throws. Devin's pretty good too. 27 points for Ethan Gusky. 28 points, I'm sorry. Yes. And they just keep that pressure on. Blocked by Belmore. Good pass to Yurk. He lays it in with the right hand. 72 to 49. Francis with his eighth rebound and Yurk with his 18th point. 23 point lead for North. Campion hustling on the defense. Ditter gets around Gusky, puts it off the glass and gets charged for the offensive foul and he's gonna have five fouls now, Chris, he's done. Two of them were offensive. Picked up two of them in the fourth quarter. Heck of a competitor, he's not probably very happy with himself, but other games, Taylor. And uh, the bench has been cleared by uh, Sheboygan South. Huh. Mitchell Fox in the game. Lorenzo Backhouse in the ball game. 43 is in the ball game. We don't have a number on him. Might be Paul Brunn from the JVs. Not sure. Michael Jones in the ball game. Robbie Schrader in the game. He played some in the first half. Hameister in for North. Takes oh. it to the hoop. Couldn't get it in. Coming away with it was uh, Backhouse. 43, that's Tristan Schmidt, not uh, okay. 23. Tristan Schmidt, and he steps on the line. How do you know that? I know a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Alrighty, and that's a little bit more than I know. Tristan Schmidt, who getting ready to check in for the Raiders, Kevin Lang, and uh, he receives a big cheer. Also coming in is Ryan Brunmeyer, seeing his first action. So Tom Desitel. Meanwhile, okay. Sipple sits there as Contra's still in the game. I don't think he liked the foul there. Whistle blown, no foul call. Turnovers. Turnover on Lang. Here comes the man, Brandon Sipple. Also in for uh, South is Ashen Anderson. Ashen had a nice football season, Chris. Oh yeah. He is a player. Rolling down to the uh, three minute mark at 72-49. Pace has slowed down considerably as the subs keep coming in. Hamiser wants him to drive baseline, but he won't do it. Anderson threw it up there, no good. And then had the ball stripped, but he's fouled. Well, Sheboygan North will go to five and one, three and one in the league. Leading the league is uh, Pulaski and De Pere at three and oh. I like that Pulaski squad. They, yeah, you've been saying that all year, Chris. Yep, and they beat uh, uh, the... Uh, it was kind of interesting the other day, the top four teams played, Bayport and Pulaski and De Pere and North, and uh, Bayport took the loss to Pulaski and De Pere beat North. South's gonna fall to just one and three in the league. Sipple, gliding into the lane, couldn't get a shot to go, but North comes away with the rebound. Campion backs it out, under three minutes. Whoop. Oh, got it away. Sipple in. Well, they like it when he scores. Fade away by Robbie Schrader is no good, but he's fouled. Brunmeyer commits the foul.
Salta has been pretty good from the line, Chris, here in the second half. They've made uh, four of five of six, five of seven. And you just uh, jinxed yeah, them. Yeah, I know, that's my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Just kind of happened. So you like that Pulaski team, huh? I like that Pulaski team. Campion nails a three. Threes have been raining here at the Acuity Fieldhouse on the north side. 77-52. 14 threes. Whoa, that's a bundle. Robbie Schrader, reverse shot is no good. Hammeister comes away with the board. I think he wanted to throw it to Sipple, but Sipple wasn't looking. Another three by the North Siders. Brunmeyer. 15. Wow, we. 80 52. All North. Schrader with another couple more points. Hammeister, rainbow shot is no good. What do you mean they missed a three again? <laughs> Great. Schmidt, good fake. Off the glass and in, and he's fouled. Tristan, just a sophomore. I want to know how you knew 43 was 23. Well, I. I know that looks like Tristan Schmidt, so I was... Okay, so you kind of know him. Well, I'm hoping that's who that is. <laughs> <laughs> We're all hoping here at WSCS-TV. Yes. And he caps off the three-point play with a free throw. 80 to 57. Rolling down to one minute left in the ball game. Here's Lang. Lang on a nice pass to Sippel who puts it up and in. Sippel with a new career high. Working on that uh, inside post move. And he's left handed. I think he's got it down, Chris. Oh, Brandon. Did a good job to help on the defensive end, but then he reached in. Coach Desatel, uh, you may have two baskets, but you have two fouls, son. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 43 seconds left in the ball game. Can't let you fall out. Schmidt puts it in. Tristan Schmidt has four points in limited action. Chris with a chance to bump it up to five. North comes away with the long rebound. Ash and Anderson got it. And then uh, Schrader's shot is uh, no good and tipped out of bounds. North will get it back with 37.8 seconds left. Chris is going to go downstairs, try to get a couple of the boys up here to be interviewed. Campion on a push off. Good call by the official. Campion a little too obvious on that push. It's 82-58 with 31.9 seconds left. It's been all north tonight. They've led from the get-go. South was able to close it at 30 to 26, but uh, South had a bit of a run at the end of the first half to uh, extend it out. North had a, uh, pardon me, South had a 10-4 run to close it to 26 to 30, they were only down four, but then North ended the half with a 7-2 run and went up nine points at halftime. Rainbow shot is no good that time by uh, Michael Jones. Hammeister tried to force the pass through, but South was on to him and uh, knocked it out of bounds. Way out to Hammeister. Layup attempt is no good. The ball is tipped out. Backhouse at the buzzer. Got it in. And it's a three-pointer. And that's how the ball game ends tonight. 
South of, uh, pardon me, North of Winter, 82 to 61. We're gonna step out for a minute. Uh, when we come back, Chris will have a couple of the boys and I'll wrap up the scoring for tonight's ball game. Cable access channels are critical tools for local government. They provide important information about issues, services and programs, as well as local emergencies. They also allow you to watch your local elected officials in action. Through the provision of governmental access channels, our communities are kept informed, educated and entertained. Where else can you get information about your local government? Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local government access channel. We're back here with uh, two winning Raiders. Luke, you guys came out fast right away. The pace was your pace, probably just the way you wanted it, and it ended up with a victory for you guys. Yeah, the coach told us right before we needed to get the pace on, and that's what we did. And our defense, I thought, really got them frustrated at half. A lot of them weren't real happy going into halftime. Yeah, that was oh, a big basket by Ethan there, you know, especially, and we'll talk about that later. It was a really smart move by him. We'll say he was smart there, so just remember we said that. But uh, 15 threes tonight for the team, that's got to be great on a, on a night like tonight. I mean, I didn't contribute to the threes, but it was nice that my team did. <laughs> I was happy with that. It made it easier. Well, I kind of like think of you as kind of like the glue. You know, you get the, all these guys, you know, getting their points and stuff like that. You kind of feed a little bit. You drive to the basket, do all the little things. You know, and for a, a successful team to be good, you got to have a lot of people contribute amongst by yourself too, or not just yourself, but everybody. Well, uh, thanks. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't score tonight. I didn't have a particular good game in that area, but I try to do other things. My team came out and we won, so it's all good. Good start so far this year. I mean. Obviously, tough loss the other night, but every opponent you guys have taken taking care of and played an outstanding game the other day, too. you got to like how uh, the Raiders are so far. Yeah, right now we're on a roll. Um, it appears it's bittersweet. I mean, we lost, but we took the fourth-ranked team in the state to triple overtime. Should have won the game. I mean, it still says something about our team. I know you're a little disappointed with things like that, but what is it like to be playing in these North-South games? I like the atmosphere. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's just crazy. Gets you jacked up for the game. I really like it. Maybe Brandon Simple should, you know, he seems to be the most popular guy. You guys work your tails off, and he gets all the credit out yeah. there with all this cheering. Yeah, he's definitely a fan favorite. Um, He's just got a soft spot for the crowd, <laughs> I guess. Maybe we could come up with a Luke uh, cheer or something, you know. We'll have to get the crowd on that. We'll have to talk to him about that. <laughs> well, congratulations. Look, good, good luck the rest of the year. We'll, talk, we'll be seeing you in a couple weeks. Right. Ethan, nice job tonight. Obviously, leading scorer for the Raiders. I know in the first half the other day you didn't bang those threes and you came within an inch of winning the game the other day. Yeah. But wow, you banged in those threes tonight. Yeah, um, I don't even I don't even know what to say about them. I mean they they left me open and I just they gave me a little bit of space and I just drained them, just stepped up. Well, I noticed too. Some people say, well, he's that Gusky kid that stands in a quarter and bangs out threes. But I noticed that you know once they come out to you, you can drive to the basket as well. Yeah, I. As soon as I started, I hit those two. I knew that would just open up the game for me. I could get to the basket really easily, and just help the entire game open it up. I see too. If they cover you, you throw bullet passes to the faces of your teammates, like Alec Menning. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say I'm sorry about that one to him. I didn't really mean for that. <laughs> I, uh, we mentioned too at the end of the first half. A big steal at the end of there, but we noticed you looked up at the clock, and I hope you were looking at the clock, yeah. not at the screen up there, hoping that you're going to dunk or something. But that was good court awareness. Yeah, um, before the game, I mean, we really scouted that that uh, they really telegraphed their passes, uh, just read their shoulders, and I saw the trap, so I just went for it, knowing that Trader would take that three on top. So I got it right before the time as I looked up. <laughs> Did you look at the clock? I did. We thought we <laughs> both recognized that, so we, I'm glad you backed us up because we didn't want to look too foolish on TV. <laughs> Good defense tonight again. I, I mean, your defense was tough against the pier the other day, and it's been tough all year. And that's what, like Luke said, you're going to have to do that to create chances on offense because you're not the tallest team in the in the state. No, we we are height impaired here at Sheboygan North. <laughs> we don't really have any height here, so I mean, we have to scrap and just get all the loose balls on the ground and just work hard. Maybe we just get transfer students or something? I hope. <laughs> okay, we'll see what we can do that. How about your experience with North South games? You've, you're just a junior. How's it been for you? Uh, nothing, nothing like them. I mean, as a little kid, I was just, I couldn't wait to be playing in those, and now I am, and it's just, can't even describe them. 
Well, I said to the audience before at the start of the game, you guys were just pumped up. You guys like a bunch of 12-year-olds get get us out on the floor. Would you please start that band going? Yeah, we couldn't wait. Was, this one, I mean, um, there was a lot of talk before the game, and we just wanted to go out there and show everyone, especially after that tough loss, just, just kill them, I guess. Yeah. Well, you guys played very well, both of you, and congratulations to both of you guys, and in a couple of weeks we'll see you down the line there. Uh, with that, we'll have Marty finish it up. Leading scorers for uh, South were Matt Schrader with 12 points and Taylor Ditter with 12 points. Uh, Thomas Murray had six, Robbie Schrader five, and uh, late in the game seeing uh, some cleanup action was Tristan Schmidt. He finished with four points. Four on North, they were led by uh, Ethan Gusky with 28 points. You saw him with the uh, uh, Chris Wright interview, and Chris did a great job on that. Devin Yurk followed with... Uh, 19 points, 15 of those coming in the second half. He was raining threes in the fourth quarter. Reed Contra had 11. Shaq Francis had uh, Reed Contra had 11. Shaq Francis had seven. Alec Menning had two, and uh, Danny Campion with six. Uh, North a winner, 82 to 61 in uh, what was an extremely entertaining game. Our next broadcast will be uh, after the new year on January 3rd when uh, Green Bay Preble comes to town to uh, visit the south side. So we'll be down there uh, bringing you that ball game. In earlier action, the uh, North girls defeated uh, Sheboygan South. And a great job by our crew tonight, abbreviated, but uh, they did a great job. Eric Wiesman on camera, Richard Bartson assisting him. For my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road. Thank you.